Hi and welcome back to the course. In this section we will start with developing our front end. So there are a couple of things we will learn in this section. We will install and configure the Vue ecosystem including Vue, Vuex and Vue Router. But we will also install other packages like Laravel Echo, Material Design icons, Material Design colors and Axios. Next we will set up Vue Router. We will create all the pages that are necessary for the application and we will learn how to use a layout to clean up our pages a bit. We will also learn how to use the view transition system. So in this video we will start with building the front end. We will scaffold a new project and install the necessary packages. The first thing that we are going to do is creating a new view application. We will be using the view CLI tool for this. And next we will install all the necessary packages and restructure our project a bit by adding the necessary files and directories. So let's dive right into it. I'm going to open a new terminal window, I'm going to open iTerm and let's start by downloading the Vue CLI tool. And the Vue CLI tool can be installed using Yarn or NPM. And I'll be using Yarn throughout the course so I recommend to follow along if you want to stick with NPM that's also fine. So to install the Vue CLI tool you can type yarn global add view CLI. It's gonna install. It's gonna take a while. Alright. And once that has been installed, you have now access to the global global command called view. Alright. Also make sure that yarn bin has been added to your path. Because inside this folder, when I go into, there you go, these are all the global available commands that you can use, including view, view build, view init, and view list. Now, I'm going to clear this out real quick, and I'm going into my project directory. Let's go into musicdb, and let's create a new project in here. You can do this by typing view init webpack we're going to use the webpack template and let's call this front end all right it's downloading the template and uh, the project name which will be music db and the front end for the music database so author that's correct i want to use the runtime only because now for this tutorial we're going to use the runtime only it's lighter and it will work just fine. Uh, we do not want to install Vue right away. We'll be using ESLint to lint our code and we're gonna use the Airbnb standard preset. We're not gonna run, we're not gonna uh, unit test or end to end test our code. Uh, all right, so our project has been created. Let's go into the front end directory and run yarn install. This is going to take a while to install all the packages necessary. Okay, so the dependencies have been installed, but we need to add a couple more. So we're going to type yarn add to immediately save the dependencies to our package.json file. Uh, we're going to need Vuex, Vuex router. Sync. We're gonna use Vue Router. So yeah, Vuex is the store that we are going to use. Vue Router Sync will sync our Vue Router instance to our store. We're gonna use Vue Router to create a single page application. It ironically, consists of multiple pages. We're gonna use Axios to perform AJAX requests. Uh, we're gonna use Animate.css for animations. We're also gonna use Google Material color for the colors of our uh, application. Uh, we're gonna use material design icons for the icon font that we're gonna use. And we're also gonna use Laravel Echo to connect to our API. And last but not least, we also need Pusher to connect to the Pusher service that we've been uh, yeah, the applications we've been creating in the previous section. All right, hit enter. And if all goes well, everything will install correctly. 
again this is gonna take a while but I want to get this out of the way as quickly as possible all right now that that's done uh, let's open our project in our favorite editor I'm gonna use WebStorm for this project which is also gonna take a while so now that we have everything installed let's tweak the directory structure a bit and let's start by renaming the app.view file to app.view file with a lowercase a all right and open this file, the app.view file, and remove everything that's inside. And let's just say hello world real quick. Remove the component that's being used. And let's rename the app to um, music TV. Remove the styling. All right. And let's create a new file called bootstrap.js. Now, let's keep this file empty for now. We will install and configure the packages in the next video. Uh, but for now, we'll leave it empty. And in a main.js file, which is the entry point of our application, add the following code. So we want to import the app file and want to import view. Uh, we're going to remove all of this and just do require the bootstrap file, which we have created in minute ago we create a new view instance with app and we are gonna mount it to our div with an id of app which is shown right here all right cool so we are gonna use stylus as a preprocessor and stylus is more flexible than sas less scss or any other css preprocessor i like it very much and we're gonna use it so inside the assets directory we're going to create a new directory called stylus and let's create a new file called app.steal okay we're going to leave this empty for now we turn to this file in the following videos but in order to use these stylus files we need to install the stylus loader and the stylus dependency itself and we can do this by typing yarn at d capital d because we want to add it to our development uh, dependencies and we're going to install stylus and the stylus loader and yeah th these are the last packages we need for the project all right and that's it for now